Hello my beautiful Taurians and Tauruses and welcome to your love reading. We're going to see what is coming towards you, family, lover, friend or foe. Um, please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa, okay? So feel free to switch agendas, switch your roles, do what you got to do, leave the rest. If any of you would like to book a personal reading to purchase anything or to make a donation to the channel, down below. So my beautiful Taurians and Tauruses, what is coming towards you guys in love? Beautiful, we have the sweethearts. It says chivalry, consideration, and romantic gestures. Beautiful energy, okay? So I feel like someone sees you as their sweetheart. Okay, this is somebody who's very romantic, okay? They're gonna shower you with gifts and compliments and, you know, they don't care who's looking. They're just gonna grab you and hold you and just, oh, this could be um something that you wanna do for somebody, okay? I feel like it feels like Valentine's Day every day with this person or this could be something that you're discussing with your partner, okay? You know, every Friday, we're gonna do this. Every Saturday, we're gonna have sexy Saturday, you know what I mean? Sacred Central Sunday, do you know what I mean? Um, okay, <laughs> Sorry. I was gonna say something, you know, like, you know what, let me not even, let me know. Oh, I'm on point. The phone call it says, um, communication, FaceTime, and we need to talk. Yeah, like I said, you could be discussing this with somebody, okay? We're gonna keep these two, okay? We're gonna keep these two, okay? You could also be on FaceTime with somebody as well, you know, maybe it's an online date, you know, you're just making everything look really beautiful. You could be wearing something really sexy, okay? You know what I mean? Like, you know what? Where do you want the rose here or there, okay? <laughs> you know what I mean? I just heard them say, you know, you already have a lotus flower. <laughs> Dirty bastards, okay, but beautiful energy nonetheless. But somebody wants to call you, okay? Somebody wants to call you. Somebody may want to call you to take you out on a date or just romantic conversation. This is really, really beautiful energy, okay? Gorgeous. Oh, yeah, the kiss. It says affection, expression of love and passion, yeah. So like I said, I feel like somebody wants to express their love to you. I'm getting somebody can't tell you how much, how much they love you on the phone. That's beautiful energy. Or you could be talking to this person in real life, but it just say the phone call, Okay. It's a beautiful energy. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous energy to start off the readings, darlings. Gorgeous energy. I'm also getting kiss and makeup as well. Somebody may want to call you to kiss and makeup because every time I pull the kiss card, I always think about that. You could be dealing with an Aries because they got the kiss at the bottom of the deck also, okay? So beautiful energy, Taurians and Tauruses. Yes, darling. Let's see where this, where this I go. Where is this reading going, darling? Where is this? Oh, I almost bit my tongue there. Where's this reading going? So somebody may want to bite you. Somebody also has that Venus trap. You know what I mean? <laughs> that lotus trap. Somebody knows how to bite back. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, stop it. You naughty, naughty Torians and Tauruses. You are the sign of sensuality after all, don't they? Okay, so let's see. It's for my beautiful Torians and Tauruses. Please can't find the sweethearts. Okay, we just want one card because that's just, that's just doing too much. Okay. What is happening? Separation? Reflection? Okay, so coulda, woulda, shoulda, but you didn't. Okay, so somebody could be reflecting about how the fact that you were their sweetheart, you were their boo. Okay. So yeah, with the engagement underneath, this could have been somebody who you was engaged with or somebody wants to engage in a conversation with you. Yeah, someone's looking back upon the past. So this person wants, somebody who you're separated with is like, yeah, we need to talk. Like, what do we need to talk about, bitch? Because obviously with the consideration and romantic gestures, obviously maybe somebody wasn't romantic. Somebody wasn't, okay, what's going on now, darling? What's happening? Somebody feels um, broken hearted. <sighs> So somebody wasn't giving you what you needed, Taurus, and now they want to show up and show out and be all chivalrous towards you. <sighs> or somebody's reflecting on how romantic you were. Okay, please come by the phone call. So this could be what you're talking about. You could be with this person, but maybe you're talking about, remember that time when we broke up? Remember that time when you were a dickhead? Okay, remember that time? Do you remember? Okay? <laughs> Michael Jackson going all the way back. R.I.P. Michael Jackson. But it may be R.I.P. to the relationship, darling. Okay. I don't even want to look at what this card is. Okay. Gifts and offers. Okay. <sighs> Taurus, man. <laughs> I don't know why I feel this is like an emotional roller coaster. And we're only four minutes in, darling. We're only four minutes in. So this could be how it feels. I feel like you're getting like butterflies to talk to someone. Or you know when you see someone's number, you're just like, what are they going to say? 
You know what I mean? Or somebody's nervous to talk to you. But yeah, somebody wants to call you to give you something. Okay, so yeah, somebody wasn't giving to the Taurus. It wasn't treating the Taurus like an empress. Okay, or if you're a guy watching this. Okay, somebody wasn't giving to the connection. Period. Somebody wasn't treating you how you're supposed to be treated, Taurus. Somebody forgot that you ruled the fucking um, empress card and the um, hierophant. Devotion, honor, and respect. Ah, what? So now somebody wants to talk to you about it. Oh, what can I give you? What can I give you to get back in there, your good graces? Well, first of all, let's talk about why we separated in the first place. Let's talk about that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's calm down, Taurus. Let's calm down. But I'm getting gifts and offers, okay? Commitment. Yeah, okay, yes. Commitment, devotion, honor, and respect. Someone can't stop thinking about you. They're thinking about the choices and the decisions that they made, okay? So if somebody wants to commit to you, for some of you, this could be somebody who you're married to already or you were married to. Maybe your partner was just being a dickhead. Maybe you had to separate from them for a little bit because you're just like, you know what? If you're not treating me the way I deserve to be treated, then you don't have access to none of this. You don't get no lotus flower. Okay, you don't get no feeding. You don't get no nothing. No nothing. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> I don't know why I'm acting so dramatic. So for some of you, I feel like this is a very dramatic relationship. Okay, or somebody brings you out of character. You're just like, I'm a peaceful person. I'm peaceful. I'm sensual. But you know what I mean? But you keep, you know, well, I am the bull too. You know what I mean? People like you until they bring out that energy in you. Like my shadow side is Scorpio, bitch. You know what I mean? Just saying. You know what I mean? All right, darling. All right, calm down, Taurus. Calm down. <laughs> so let's just, um, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Just for my beautiful Taurians and Tauruses, what do we have? The Three of Swords, man. Could be dealing with a Libra, okay? The Three of Emotions, yeah. Broken heart, clarified by the broken heart, darling. But, you know, behind her, she's got this big, beautiful heart that's, you know, glowing with this rainbow. So all she needs to do is look around. Okay, so yeah, so somebody is really heartbroken that they are separated from you, okay? Or um, that they broke your heart. Now, some of you, I'm not really getting cheating here, but, you know, with the Three of Swords, possibly someone could have lied to you about something or stepped out on the commitment, okay? Or like I said, you just separate from someone and they can't deal with the heartbreak. So this person wants to talk to you. I'm, I'm just getting somebody saying, like, what can I give you? Yeah, there could have been competition here. But you're just like, who's trying to compete with the Empress? You know what I mean? She's standing out. All these other bitches are the same. So I just feel like there's nobody like you, Taurus. You're all up in somebody's mind, Taurus. Somebody fucked around and they found the fuck out, Taurus. Okay. Yeah. A card of communication could be dealing with Sagittarius, okay? Yeah, I'm getting online communication. You could be dealing with somebody online as well. They thought because it was an online connection that they could treat you like a dickhead. No, my energy, my energy goes miles. It transcends through space and time. It doesn't matter where your location that they're at. Karma will find you and reach or no. Awa. So this person wants to talk to you, okay? I'm also getting like love at first sight when you saw this person, you know, you were really in love with them. But yeah, I'm getting a lot of, I'm getting banter as well. It's almost like, you know, like I said, if you're, if you're making up with this person, you could be like laughing about the past as well. Like, you know, like when you're really over something, you can make a joke about it. It's like, you're lucky I'm over this situation because it wasn't fucking funny back then, you know. He was acting like a damn fool, okay? But yeah, I'm getting fast communication. I feel like somebody wants to tell you so much. Yeah, the universe, okay? Like I said, my energy transcends through space and time. Karma will always find uno. Oh, wow. Well. So somebody wants to share the world with you, okay? So this is equivalent to the world card or somebody feels like you were sent from the universe. Yeah, with the two of cups underneath. Somebody had to make a change as your opposite energy, Scorpio, as we talked about. Could be dealing with any of the fixed signs, Leo, Aquarius, you, Taurus, or Scorpio, as we just mentioned. Sagittarius and Libra here is heavy. Okay, let's clarify the three of swords, please. What is this about? The Empress of Passion. So the Queen of Wands. So somebody could have broke your heart because of a Queen of Wands. Could have been a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. Okay. This could also be somebody really attracted to you. They can see that you've got your confidence back. So it's kind of like, damn, you know, look what I missed out on, okay? 
or somebody wants to make a move towards you somebody just feels like you are magical and you just have everything i mean the queen of wands is sexy as fuck so it's either a sexy witchy bitch got involved in your connection or someone feels like you are sexy and they want you back also getting like makeup sex with these two cards as well because i was getting it was very sensual in the beginning and then it kind of just took a turn okay yeah the two of pentacles somebody could have been juggling or <sighs> yeah the ace of ones there are so much ones the queen of ones the eight of ones and the ace of ones okay so yeah someone's gonna make like a, a move towards you they want a new beginning this is what they want So I feel like this is somebody's passion towards you. But like I said, there could have been a separation because of this person. But I feel like you are the queen of wands in this situation. Or you're dealing with a fire sign. Someone has got a lot of fire placements here, okay? But I'm getting communication. I'm getting that you are going to speak to this person. I just feel like there may be tears. But then it's going to be, it's quickly going to be resolved. Because someone's going to offer you something with the commitment and the kiss card. Yeah, I'm getting kiss and makeup. Yeah, the three of wands. Yeah ones 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 there is so much passion you definitely could be dealing with an aries because they got similar energy there's aries at the bottom of the deck yeah i feel like for some of you someone this is a long distance relationship or somebody who travels for work or somebody who's from a different place to you they could be foreign but they're going to reach out to you okay that's what they want there's somebody's longing for you they see you in their future okay my nose ring let's twist it all right what does this person want to say to you but i feel like you really turn someone on someone thinks that you're very passionate and creative but yeah they're gonna make a move towards you because i don't see your energy here at all this could be you maybe you done some fucked up shit to somebody okay because yeah it's like they're looking at the spites with the five of swords and then it's like they're trying to heal it so that they can come correct with the um ace of pentacles which is your energy so maybe somebody wasn't committing to you before or I don't know what's going on, but the three of ones, the eight of ones, the ace of ones and the queen of ones. Yeah, I want to share my life with you came out. Yeah, somebody really does. So definitely, like I said, you could be dealing with an Aries or someone who has significant Aries placements because they got similar energy. Somebody wants to share their life with you. So somebody wants to be serious now and I love you. So yeah, like I said in the beginning, you know, I feel like someone can't tell you enough how much they love you. Did I say that in this reading or was it Aries? I don't know, but I'm saying it now, okay? So that's what somebody wants to tell you, that they love you and that they're very... There's so much chemistry, there's so much heat, there's so much attraction between you and this person or ha what they have for you. And then, what's at the bottom of the deck? Oh, I want to marry you. I mean, I mean, good God. They ain't playing about. Underneath that, we have, I want to move in with you. So, yeah, if somebody's at a distance from you, I feel like they want to close the distance by relocating or offering you some type of home or something. It's for beautiful Taurus. Okay, what do we have? Wow, I love you so fucking much. So, we got, I love you and I love you so fucking much. Yeah, someone cannot tell you how much they love you enough, like... Yes, I am jealous. Yes, I am possessive. So, yeah, this person's very possessive over you. Because, like I said, I feel like you're very attractive with the Queen of Wands. Someone is also prepared to break you up. I feel like if you're with someone, someone's like, well, not for long. Like, someone will break you up with someone because they want to be with you. And you're my soulmate. I feel like we've met before, maybe in a past life. Okay. Woo, so, it's turned out beautifully. So, I feel like this is beautiful energy. I just feel like there was some heartache. There was some possibly betrayal here or some type of lie or something. Somebody is madly in love with you here. They feel like you're their soulmate. They want to be with you. They want to be serious. Somebody may actually propose. Or like I said, you are in a commitment with somebody already, but you just went for a little rough patch, okay? And oh, we have, I'm sorry, I didn't want to hurt your feelings, but I only see you as a friend. So maybe this was this person at one point. This is what the Free of Swords was about. They hurt your feelings. They didn't treat you right or they, you know. Now this could be this person reaching out to you and just like, you know what? I don't feel like that about you anymore, but I don't think so. Let's see. Um, you're the one that I want, only you. Yeah, so maybe this person had a friend or some shit, but now this person only wants you. They only see you. 
Mm. Yeah, seriously, do you even care about me? So I feel like this person is wondering if you still care. Because I feel like you're out here looking sexy and confident and someone's just like, okay, are you? am I on your mind but at all? I feel like they need to fuck around and find out. I cannot get you... I connect... Oh, sorry, guys. I feel like somebody can't get their words together. I cannot get enough of you. Everyone else is a bore. Yeah, because you're very exciting. With all of these ones, somebody's exciting, magical, creative, passionate. I feel like you motivate this person. Okay? You, you fill them with beautiful ideas. I feel like somebody's like inspired when they're around you. So everybody bores them to tears. They generally just want to be with you. Or like I said, this is the other way around. You just want one card. Oh, good Lord. Okay, I'm not even going to pick that up because that's just too far down. Oh, this is over. Yeah, Aries got the exact same energy. But it was kind of like, no, nah, this isn't over. I feel like the, 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 the separation is over. Now, you may tell someone that it's over, but I'm not really getting that with the commitment and the kiss at the bottom of the deck and I want to marry you and the three of ones. I don't feel like that. I feel like it's going to go well, but you could. You're everything I ever wanted. Are you even real? LOL. Yeah, and I can't stop thinking about you. I'm losing it. Yeah. So I feel like somebody wants... Because this is clarified with the phone call. I feel like somebody... um wants the end the distance and they want to have a conversation with you they want to like break the silence is yeah thank you spirit they want to break the silence okay or they that's what you guys are talking about you're talking about the the, the the breakup um so this is the card that wanted to come out it reads i feel oh so aroused oh so filled with lust i want to tempt touch taste and thrust i told you <laughs> Someone wants that lotus flower back, darling. Okay? You are arousing someone. I feel like this person is just... They will always and forever be attracted to you, Taurus. You just got it like that. Okay? And here is another card. It reads, I feel oh so sorry. I must apologize. I have so much guilt. I'm sorry I lied. Yeah, so like I said, I feel like somebody lied to you about something with the Three of Swords. So they want to apologize because they feel guilty. Hmm. And I feel oh so mighty. I have oh so much power, but I must be careful as I may cause a tower is at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you have a lot of power. Maybe this person does as well and they try to abuse it. OK, but there's like a lot of ones here. So just be careful. Be careful. With all of that source, darling. I feel like you're causing a bit of commotion. OK, you're just too saucy. OK, I'm hearing that song. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. So sexy, it hurts. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's heard that. It's like a really old song. It's like really stupid. I don't know if it's UK people or whatnot. So Americans, you may not know what the fuck I'm talking about. But yeah, I'm too sexy for my shirt. So yeah, so somebody wants to be with you. They want to apologize for lying to you. You are just too good to let go, Taurus. Okay. But thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Please not hesitate to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.